introduction. Hi everyone, my name is Zhang Mongmei. Uh, I'm from Ch China Telecom Best Pay. And today I'm very glad to introduce our recent work, a graph translator aligning graph model to land large language model for open-ended tasks. Uh, this work is done during my internship in Alibaba. Okay, let's begin. Let's begin from the background. Uh, as we know, the graph structured data are ubiquitous. For example, social network, uh, biochemistry graph. Uh, in recent years, deep learning starts to push for the performance on graph data, typically by using the neural language model. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, the, the graph neural networks combine the node feature information with the uh, graph structure and have achieved the SOTA performance on a wide range of tasks. Despite the great success, graph models are restricted to the tasks with a predefined format. For example, no classification, link prediction. Okay, it's challenging to extend their application to unseen categories and, uh, con and the unseen concepts especially for the new tasks defined by the uh, human instructions. Uh, uh, here we name it the open-ended tasks. Here, we highlight the difference uh, uh, between the predefined tasks and the open-ended tasks. Uh, using the node classification as an example, the traditional methods, they often uh, categorize the node embeddings into a few predefined categories. Uh, this, uh, um, uh, this, this space is very narrow. Uh, this approach often struggles to generalize to new categories uh, to adjust this limitation. Uh, uh, okay. oh, to adjust this limitation, uh, uh, we propose to map the node, node embedding into an a open vocabulary label. Uh, it's, a, it's a large label. It's as large as the language uh, vocabulary uh, space. So in this way, uh, it's easy to uh, generalize to uh, the unseen concept. And uh, the model will be more flexible and adaptive to uh, the uh, uh, unseen uh, scenarios. Uh, further, uh, the, pre the previous methods primarily focus on the predefined tasks, uh, such as no classification, graph classification, link prediction, and uh, here, um, uh, here, uh, uh, in reality, in reality, uh, the tasks can change dynamically, and uh, they are often defined by the uh, human instructions. Uh, uh, luckily, large language model like ChatGPT, uh, they show the powerful zero shot and the instruction following cap capabilities, and they have transformed transformed the diverse fields, especially for the open ended tasks. Uh, for example, uh, in the Middle Age, uh, uh, it's a, uh, in the computer vision uh, uh, area, uh, it's an uh, uh, object detector. The traditional object detector, they can just uh, uh, identify these three are toys. Uh, but uh, for, the open for, for the open vocabulary object detector, they can find that the left is the blue elephant and uh, it's also a uh, uh, it's also it's, it's a toy elephant and it's also a blue toy and uh, the right is a yellow toy and it's also a toy duck. So uh, it's easy to uh, generalize to the uh, new categories. Uh, further, given an uh, image and a task defined by the specific instructions, the vision LLM model can respond to the image details. Uh, okay. So recently, uh, several methods have uh, applied the uh, uh, large language models to graphs, and uh, they always follow the two 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 lines. Uh, the first, uh, they uh, use the large language large language models as the enhancer of the graph models. Uh, the second is uh, they use the uh, large language models as the standalone uh, predictors, and they try to uh, uh, change, uh, they try to transform the graph into text or into token. Uh, tokens. Uh, however, uh, using the when, when you use the large language model as the enhancer of graph model, uh, it can produce the uh, uh, it can produce the accurate uh, uh, prediction uh, right. But uh, it just uh, um, more focus on the uh, predefined tasks. It it uh, fails to process the open ended tasks and uh, it uh, lacks the interactivity. And uh, uh, in, when you employ the large language model as the standalone predictor, it can handle uh, the open-ended tasks right, but uh, it uh, also bring the uh, 
high cost of large language models and the uh, hallucinations, uh, which is uh, unbearable uh, for the predefined tasks. In, in the industry uh, scenarios, the predefined tasks, uh, they often they often face to the billion users and uh, uh, they need to be uh, uh, conducted daily and daily. So uh, here is the question. Uh, how can we uh, build a model that solves both uh, predefined and open-ended tasks? Uh, in, in this paper, uh, to answer this question, we propose to align the graph model uh, to the uh, language models. And uh, here uh, we use we use the graph model to uh, conduct the predefined tasks. Uh, uh, it will be very effective and efficient. And then we, uh, we also uh, try to align the graph model to large, lang large language model and use the large language model as the interface of the graph model uh, to, the, to deal with the uh, human instructions and for the open-ended tasks. Uh, however, it's a non-trivial, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a non-trivial thing to align the graph model to larger one model for we face to the two challenges. First, there exists a significant modality gap between the pre-trained graph model and the larger language model. Second, uh, there lacks alignment data for bridging the graph model uh, and the large, large language model. So, uh, in this paper, uh, we, to address, uh, to address these challenges, <laughs> we propose a new framework called Graph Translator to align the pre-trained graph model to large language model to solve both predefined uh, pre tasks and open-ended tasks. Here is the uh, framework of our model. Uh, this framework includes four parts. First, the frozen graph model. Uh, the frozen graph model uh, was uh, uh, pre-trained to learn the node embeddings for the text attributed graphs and uh, handle the predefined uh, tasks. And uh, the second is the frozen large language model. Uh, the, lar la the large language model in this paper uh, is uh, will, ser will serve as an interface of graph model for the open-ended tasks to respond to the human instructions. And uh, for, the, uh, for the challenge of the huge modality gap, uh, we introduce a translator model, which will convert the node embedding into tokens, enable uh, a large language model to understand, and uh, to construct such alignment data, uh, namely uh, node embedding and uh, the descriptive uh, text pairs, uh, we introduce a producer module. Uh, okay. Uh, first, uh, for the frozen graph model, uh, given a text attributed graph, a G, uh, taking the graph stage as an example, typically the graph stage samples a fixed size neighbors around the target node, and they concatenate the node's previous uh, labor embed layer embedding with the aggregated neighbor, uh, neighborhood embeddings. Finally, the pre-trained graph stage uh, model will encode the local uh, graph information of node V into the node uh, ZV. Okay, uh, for given the uh, node embedding uh, ZV, uh, we uh, introduce the producer module to construct uh, the alignment data, uh, namely ZV, TV. TV is the node description. Um, uh, it it uh, uh, notes that uh, the information encoded in the node embedding isn't just uh, about the uh, graph data. It, it also connects deeply with how the uh, graph model are designed. For example, uh, most graph neural networks tend to uh, model the similarities uh, between the node and its neighborhood. Uh, so, uh, the descriptions for each node should include the details about the node attributes, uh, the neighbor, uh, neighbor attributes, and uh, their uh, similarities, uh, named, uh, namely the model in size. Here we use a method called a chain of thought to guide the ChatGPT to generate uh, the, uh, these, this information step by step. And uh, here is the uh, prompts uh, of the uh, of of the ChatGPTs we used. Okay, uh, given the produced uh, uh, alignment data, uh, 
uh, we, 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 we introduced a translator module to align the graph neural networks to large language model. Uh, as we know, there is, there exists a large modality gap, uh, between the trained node embedding and, uh, the large language model. Uh, since, um, uh, since the node embed, uh, so the node, node embedding and the token embedding, they are, uh, they have different size and, uh, they are totally in the different, uh, uh, feature space. So the large language model, uh, they definitely, uh, can't understand the node embedding. Here, inspired by Blip2, we train, uh, we train a lightweight uh, translator module to translate uh, the node embedding, uh, into, a, a set of tokens, uh, like this. Uh, this, this, this is, uh, this is a set of, uh, continuous token embeddings. Uh, we translate the, we try to translate the node embeddings into these tokens. And these tokens can be understood by a large language model. Uh, okay. How, how can we, how can, how can, how can we do this? Uh, in the first uh, chaining stage, uh, we, uh, in, we use the three losses to, uh, uh, align the node embedding with the text. Uh, for the contrastive, uh, loss, uh, we aim to, uh, align the, uh, node embeddings, uh, with the text representations in a high, for a high level of alignment. And, uh, for the fine grid alignment, we use the matching objective. Uh, as a, uh, uh, then we also, uh, uh, use a de decoder to decode the node embeddings to the text, uh, space. So in this way, we, uh, we, 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 we can translate the, uh, we can translate the, uh, node embedding to a set of, uh, uh, tokens that, uh, align with its, uh, uh, text. Okay, uh, in the second stage, we perform the generative learning by connecting the output of translator to the frozen large language model. We continue to training the translator so that, uh, the out, so that its output can be understood by large language model. Okay, to evaluate the effectiveness of our model, we conduct extensive uh, experiments. The experimental results on the real world, the Taobao and the archive data sets. Uh, the results demonstrate that uh, the effectiveness of a uh, graph translator, uh, on the, uh, zero shot uh, no classification. And, uh, to further provide the quantitative analysis of graph question and answering, we employ both human volunteers and chat GPT as uh, our evaluators to perform quantitative analysis. Uh, one can observe that our graph translator, uh, consistently achieves better performance, uh, in each questions and, uh, uh, we get more A score. Uh, then we showcase the, uh, graph question answering experiments on top of this set. Uh, we, we try to query large language model in a multi round dialogue way. Uh, to deeply investigate the capability of our graph translator to extract, explain, and reason the unseen node embedding. Uh, compared to the vanilla large language model, uh, the left, uh, the, uh, the right one, right one, <coughs> uh, which use, uh, which use the node text, uh, for example, node information and the neighbor's information, uh, to query large language model. Our model has better graph understanding ability and reasoning ability. Uh, here is a reason that, uh, if you, if you, if you, uh, if you add a lot of information, uh, node information, attribute, uh, neighbor information, they are too long and uh, the, uh, uh, and the large language model may be very confused. But, uh, here we, uh, in the, in our, uh, graph translator, we only give, uh, a set of soft, uh, soft, uh, soft tokens. Uh, you can, you can, you can, you can see it as, uh, soft prompts and, uh, uh, and con, con connect with, uh, uh, short instructions. Uh, they, uh, it will be better. Okay. Uh, that's all. Thank you.